How's it going guys? Tyler here today, finally back with another video after another hiatus because that's what you can just expect at this point. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna give you that excuse every single video. So just, just look forward to that, okay? With that out of the way, I'm actually really excited to be making videos again. I am I have like a whole list of videos I'm like currently working on and filming, and then I gotta edit them, and then I gotta push them out, and this is one of them. And as you can tell from the title of the video, today we're gonna be looking at a Jason Voorhees prop machete that I've already reviewed from this company before, uh, which is Morningside Sanitarium. Um, which is, if you don't know who they are, you can look, up on, look them up on YouTube. They're one of the biggest videos of like a haunted house thing that they do for Halloween and scaring kids. And it's awesome. And it actually really inspires what I do for Halloween. So yeah, for people who already know about my other channel, which is named the same thing as this one, you already know that I reviewed this bad boy right here. Uh, yeah, I still have my um, Morningside Sanitarium versus Machete um, prop. Uh, it still is like super great for photos, um, still, obviously it's still lightweight, weighs next to nothing. Um, and the machete we're reviewing today is by the same guy who made this one, um, but there is a little bit of a catch to the machete that I'm reviewing. Yeah, I mean, it's been like uh, almost two or three years at this point now that I've had this. Now, yes, it hangs on a wall, but nonetheless, it still makes for a great piece of, uh, of a wall decor or you can, you know, you can cosplay with it. I mean, I used this before at a couple haunts and um, yeah, this is pretty much in the same room but the, the machete in the box that I have with me is going to feel like but definitely not look like. But real quick before we get into the unboxing, let me just address the elephant in the room. Yeah, you see, you see the remake guy back here paint it and the video's not out. You won't believe this. You, you, you just won't. I completely started from scratch with the whole thing. I filmed myself painting it and then I edited it or I didn't edit it. I mean, I, I painted it and I filmed it and I made sure it was filming the entire time. I put everything into um, the editing app that I use and I guess two hours and 50 something minutes of me painting and stopping and that was too much for my phone to take because the footage was unusable again I, I don't know what it is the video was cursed I guess from the beginning so I'm very sad to say but I will not have a video of me painting this out anytime soon because it, it just it wouldn't it wouldn't work it wouldn't work trust me I pried tooth and nail at this thing just trying I I did so many things. I saved the video still, like the whole two hour thing, and I, I tried even different uh, editing apps, and it still wouldn't load. It was like, just damned from the start that it would not happen. So, yeah, but um, obviously this is the, the one I'm gonna go with from now on. I really like the paint job I gave this guy. And for now, it's just a tan shirt. I have to do a lot more stuff for this costume, which is what pertains to this part of the video today with the machete. So yeah, I curse this damn video because it, it never got made and it would have done probably so well, not, not just like view wise. I think people were just always interested in seeing how other people paint and do things. Yeah, with that out of the way, um, Let's get on with the unboxing in this video, but real quick, uh, today was a really good mail day for me. Uh, I don't know why I'm adding this in. I just want just everyone to know, um, other than the machete that I got today, in case anyone just wanted to know, I don't know, I just want to add this in myself. We have uh, a th three CDs I got in the mail today. We have um, Awkward and Depressed by Canadian Softball. Um, we have Alive or Just Breathing by Killswitch Engage, and we have This Is Exile by Whitechapel. That just shows you a little bit of the variety of the kind of metal and pop punk that I kind of dig. So I just thought I would mention that. Yeah. But with that out of the way, let's finally get into the unboxing of this machete. And my God, this is a uh, a pretty uh, long package or big package, as they would say. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. So this is the package for the machete. Um, and so here's an interesting thing to note. I haven't addressed this yet. I should have earlier. This is a prototype, uh, which means this is the first edition of this machete that Tom, I still remember your name, has made of this machete. So it's, um, as I saw from the, uh, the pictures, it is a not complete one, um, which is why I got it for a really good deal. Um, but I also knew that like I could trust Tom to give me something that like I could, you know, probably finish working on myself because that sounds fun. So it is, un there is a couple spots that are still unpainted and it just has a primer coat on it. 
And that just leaves more artistic room for myself. What's great about this is the fact that this package is so tall, I don't have to angle the camera a different way. So um, I already uh, took care of the uh, tape right there. And remember, don't cut towards yourself, don't be emo. There's a knife here. Yeah, that is cut, dangerous. Some cut yourself with it. No! We don't do that around here even though I listen to emo music. I just had a CD called Awkward and Depressed. So it seems to be like everything is... Um, okay. Oh, you know what that smells like? See, okay, so I can see it on the camera right there what, the, what that is, that's the handle. Anyways, it smells just like spray paint and like like clear coat. So yeah, it is completely empty. <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, this is a really hard thing to package. So the way it looks now, I, I don't care. So, but it feels like, I think there, is that a, uh, yeah, that's a swimming uh, pool noodle tube, I guess. Okay, so. Well, the packaging was kind of ripped. Oh well. But with that out of the way, uh, I'm guessing because of the way it looks like this, I could just be able to slide it out. I was right. It's still gone. Oh my god. Okay. Um, uh, uh Jesus Christ. Um, I didn't, um, uh, let me compose myself real quick. Okay, so I I mean I always knew that the, the remake Jason had a long machete, but bro, that is long. I did not ever realize that. And it seems like once again we have done uh, some 3D printing, uh, 3D printed plastic or PLA um, of a handle. And like I said, there is a couple spots that are unfinished because this was the prototype. But nonetheless, um, this is this is the same weight as the versus machete. I mean, yes, it is, you know, just wood. And, you know, uh, the, the handle is heavier than the, the, the whole length of the blade itself. So that's pretty interesting to note. What I believe he's done once again is uh, he's taken blueprints of the original prop used in the movie and he has added, add, like, added them into his computer and then he's printed them out and then he's put them on a piece of wood and he went from there. I mean, because, I mean, I mean, yeah. The, I mean, yeah, this looks so much like the original hero machete. Um, yeah. And what's funny to note is the remake Jason, uh, and I mean, like some people may know, he has a holster on the side of his pants. So I'm, I don't, I wonder if this is gonna hit the ground. Like, I don't know, hold on, let me. Actually, no, that is perfect length for when the holster is on and you slide the machete in. Cool. So get a little close up right there. We have a little paint splotch right there, but not a problem. Unfinished paint right there, and unfinished paint right there. Super soft though. This handle is so comfortable. Um, so yeah, in my own time, I will finish painting this and I will also wrap the leather like kind of bands that are around the handle. And I think I'm also probably going to add a rust color to the, to the blade because the remake Jason has a very rusty machete. So yeah, but this is really comfortable and super long. <laughs> that is insane, like, wow. And like I mentioned about the Versus one, this uh, machete is 31 and a half inches long. Um, so I'm going to measure the remake one and I'm sure to tell you that it is a lot bigger than the Versus one because, because that's just how it is. So the length of this is three foot on the dot. Wow. So, a three foot long machete is what Jason used in the remake. It really puts into perspective, especially if you have a small, like, like 10 inch Jason machete. I think he like used a, a 10 inch or, or something like that in part three, I think. Um, and you put it up to this big hunk of motherfucker. I don't, I don't know. Compared to this bad boy, that is nothing this is really sick um and i cannot wait to finish painting this and also it's gonna look so good hanging on my wall and it'll go really good with this cosplay when i'm done with it because yeah so let's talk about price now you may be wondering uh how much does it cost to buy one of these for yourself i don't know because this is the prototype i got this for a really slamming deal of 60 bucks 
um, versus uh, I think I paid like 90 for a complete one. Um, but I've been like really looking for a versus or a remake machete uh, prop um, for like photos with kids and stuff. But I also am going to get a metal one because the versus metal one that's right behind me it did so well last year for Halloween I could not pass up that opportunity again. So yeah. Because this is a prototype and I have it, uh, he, he, I know he mentioned that there was a couple measurements that he wasn't satisfied with, so he's going to do those again, and then make more, and then put those on his shop. So, yeah. So I have the prototype, and he's making more. So you just have to wait for him to make the post about, hey, I've got more. I recommend you look out for those because the quality of these props, just really nice. Super lightweight, you can carry them all day, I mean, and even kids can hold them. Like, I, I think a lot of kids like, asked me last year, can they hold my machete? Like, because they wanted to, like, you know, cut, cut, kill Jason. Yeah, so, yeah, I highly recommend you keep the lookout for when he's finished making these. I don't remember his username, but it is under Morningside Sanitarium, not on Etsy. But if you follow that on Instagram, I believe, you'll find him making posts about these. So, yeah. Um... <laughs> My final conclusion is this is super cool, and I think I've already mentioned that already, but like, I, I, I don't know, yeah. But yeah, that is going to do it for this video of this really sick uh, machete, um, and I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this, and I hope you'll stick around for the new videos that are coming. Um, it looks like I may be included on someone's um, uh, horror podcast, that would be really sick, I would love to answer and talk to people, uh, answer questions about horror and then talk to people about that. One of my biggest goals with this channel is for it to grow big enough for me to have a Q&A because I love Q&As about my life and it's just, yeah, it's, I don't know, it's just something that I wanna do. But yeah, like I said, that's gonna do it for this video and I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this and I hope you stick around for the new videos coming. Take it easy.